Opening a new pack of trading cards has its highs. Oh, ooh. considered one rarity higher than Yes. Drapian. And its lows. And they've seen it all at two pair collectibles in Easton, and the shop's only been open for a few months. Not only is it a great spot to buy Pokemon, Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh!, Dragon Ball Super Cards, it's also a place to break those cards and play games against others. Two Pair Collectibles was born because of two pairs, literally, who came together. Both couples are passionate about the trading card world, and they want to share that with others. Delmarva Life's Katie Cirilli being one of them. Yo! Dork, let's go! Megan Adams Yo. can't believe the card she pulled. Oh, oh! Let's go, Rich! Drew Yo, Rinaldi Rich. is downright Rinaldi. ecstatic. Now, if you're anything like me, you have sick. no idea why Look these two are so fired up. But you kind of want to share in their spirit. They want that, too. That's part of why Two Pair Collectibles in Easton got going. It's a trading card shop where enthusiasts can buy cards, learn about those cards, and play with those cards. To be able to have that fun and to experience what we were able to experience as children and what we're trying to pass on to that next generation. You know, we just want to grow the community, grow the hobby. Megan and her husband Brandon make up one pair. They met Drew and his wife Kristen online. They're the second pair. Both pairs are passionate about every element of this hobby. The brainchild between the two of us became two pair collectibles because there's two pairs of Pokemon couples. A brainchild that became a reality fast. Megan and Brandon didn't even live on Delmarva at the beginning of the year. They moved here from Florida to join Drew and Kristen in February. We knew this was something that had to happen, and it had to happen quick. But the Adams pair is well acquainted with fast life changes. The two of them got married after knowing each other 14 days. And that was over seven years ago. Do I, did I ever think that I'd be here seven and a half years later? My best friend? No. <laughs> but here I am. Here they all are using their different skills to share something they love with the Talbot County community. Kristen's very good with graphic design and some social media stuff. You know, I've got the kind of more business mindset. Drew has the ideas, like outrageous ideas. My wife, she's got social media and like she's oh God, she just got her degree mouthpiece. in marketing and communications. So she's, she's on lock with all of that stuff. So, yeah. I just like to make friends. Making friends with Megan right, is easy. So what you can do is you grab your pack. Here you go. You. All right. You just okay. pull right here. Pull right here. Like you're opening up a bag, like a bag of chips. And then you count one, two, three, four. Take those and put them on the bottom. Oh, okay. So then what you, all you do is you just place your cards down and just go through them like this. You're upside down. Oh. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> place them down like this and as you just go through it. You're going through each of the cards. So these are just common, uncommon cards, nothing crazy. The last card is the one the last gonna, card. you're really going to care about. Da da da! All right, hollow. Zygarde! Nice. This is called Breaking Cards. Both Megan and Drew do it online oh for thousands God, of dude. followers. Watching them open that. packs on, is guys. fun. Tearing through packs with them is a blast. Even though it's an emotional roller coaster. <laughs> like a knock. <laughs> Stink. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, there we go. Oh, Leon. <laughs> yes. Okay. This is incredible. I don't know why, why I feel incredible, but what is happening? So that is a full art card. That's not guaranteed. There's no guarantees in boxes. So they put these textured full art cards in the box to make you feel like you really get something. People chase the full art cards. They're really hard to get. Two Pair Collectibles also offers grading services. Drew here knows his stuff. Look at the edges around the card to see how well the centering is. Grading companies grade on four different categories, centering, surface, corners, and edges. Not only do these four care about what they do, they also care about the way they do it. We want to have that welcoming environment. All of us who, who work here and own the place, we are very social people and we love 
talking and interacting with the customers. There's a group of Pokemon kids that come in on Wednesday nights. We're teaching them how to play Pokemon. My wife is in charge of that. They're more than games, too. They keep on giving. There's strategy involved. You have critical thinking on building a deck. What cards would go get better together? So a lot of those fundamental things that, that some kids learn are being expressed in a game that they're having fun doing it. To see the passion come through in this place and see other kids inspired um, and just kind of fuel a love of a card game in others, it's unreal to me. I, it touches my heart every time I see a kid get excited. A kid beat me one night and he actually legitimately beat me. And he was so excited. He was just smile from ear to ear and that warmed my heart. Two duos with a deep love in their hearts for this hobby. One that's perhaps more valuable than even the rarest trading card.